Hey mate, how you doing? I am very good, how are you? Really good mate, really good, it's a bit early. It is a little bit early, quarter to nine, you got the late shift today. Has he done it? Yeah, young, oh, uh, what time was Harry on? Like eight o'clock yesterday, quarter to eight or something yesterday, Harold got tortured. Like I don't know, yeah. yeah. You got the late shift. Are you alright though? I like that. Yeah, I'm really good mate, how are you? I'm very good, it's day two of the big show, Liam. Day two of the big show? Yeah. Big have, show. You, have you been listening this morning? Uh, I haven't been listening this morning, no. Okay, move. bye. <laughs> See you later. And, <laughs> and it's been alright, it's been quite good. What are you doing this morning, Liam? Because yesterday we spoke to Harry and he was on the way to film things. He wouldn't tell us what you exactly what you were doing. Hey, we're, at the moment, we're getting ready to film things and I've literally sat in the chair and if you could see me now, I've got my hair slicked back. Oh, wow. The full makeup and the works and you, you don't even want to know what's going on. Full makeup? What, like drag? Uh, not like drag, no. <laughs> not like drag. Well, sort of like drag, but not drag. <laughs> It'd be quite strong for your second album, Full Drag. Yeah, well, yeah definitely. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what we're going for. It's kind of a bad move to got it into, I suppose. It'd be even better if it was just you and no one mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. I could just get away with it, that's the thing. <laughs> Does Liam look a little bit prettier? <laughs> <laughs> And are you quite good in the mornings, Liam? Because I've been trying to get advice of people, and people always think pop star is, is, is an easy job, but it's a, it's a tough job. You work long hours, you get up early. How are you at getting up and going to work of a morning? Uh, I'm okay, actually. It's usually Zane who's the terrible one again up in the morning. Yes. Um, and Louis just kind of chooses his own time and then drives himself in, so he just kind of, he's kind of chooses his own time. But Zane, terrible for getting up in the morning. Is anyone really annoying in the morning? Um, Niall. Niall. I imagine Niall's never in a bad mood. Niall's never in a bad mood. Niall's always in the same mood, which is loud and just says what he wants. Um, mm -hmm. And he's got a guitar with him, it's even worse. He just does not stop. He just doesn't shut up, does he? I like yeah, that. We had, we had a break yesterday and he literally was doing his own gig downstairs the whole time. <laughs> just doing our break, just literally just playing, his, just playing the song, though. Just singing. I like that, that he's so happy to go yeah, to work in one so direction. Happy. Yeah, when we were, when we came, remember we came in to see Scott Mills a couple of weeks ago and we announced the Teen Awards and then we had to go and do the, the photo together. Yeah. Do you remember this? Um, yeah. I like that there was, there was a little break and I went outside with my manager to have like just a really boring meeting about my diary and the, this new show and everything and Niall came out and he's like, what's going on over there? Wow, look at this meeting. Wow, look at how busy you are. He's like the happiest man of all time. Yeah, literally like anything excites Niall. Like, if you <laughs> meet Niall's even, he's like, sure. He was literally excited about my, about my diary plans <laughs> for the next. <laughs> no, he's, he's never excited about our diary plans. No, he's just I like that though. He's a good. <laughs> um, so how is he this morning? He's not been too irritating. Uh, he's not here at the moment. Actually, it's just me and Harry. We've got the the early shift, but then I've got the late shift as well. So then I'm kind of in the middle of shifts at the moment. So. <laughs> I like that you call it shifts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that really tough factory work shift. <laughs> well, I was actually going to work in a factory. So that's quite funny actually. Oh, did you? I was, yeah, I was going to go and build aeroplane parts with my dad, but then I went on X Factor and all this, and then my life changed forever. Thought it'd be a pop store instead. Yeah, thought yeah. so, otherwise I was singing in the factory, that was better than doing my That would be lovely for the factory workers. It could be, otherwise it could be very annoying, I mean, I do sit next to Nile when he sings in the morning, it's not very fun for me, so. <laughs> it's quite great, and I did, I worked in a factory once, it was my first proper job, Liam. Uh, my job was to make homework diaries. Homework diaries? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure about that. I know, it's a rough job. And it was banned, not, music was banned, and I was not allowed to talk. I ain't like, no front for anyone. How can you ban me from talking? It was b banned, and we had to stand in a box so we didn't take the paint off the floor. It was very degrading. That, that is quite degrading. So you stood in a box, building your diaries, <laughs> don't say a word, and don't listen to any music. Yes! Torture. That's terrible. Absolutely awful. So I thought, oh, I'll just do the radio on breakfast show instead. Yeah, it sounds like fun to me. This is boring. Um, and what's going on with you once you've, you've finished this uh, bit of filming? You've got filming to do for the next few days, and then do you have, like, any time off before the album comes out? Because that was that wedding event. Um, we've got a little bit of time off, I think, before it gets crazy again. Like, usually, when we have time off, that's like a warning, as if to say, next week, you're not going to sleep. <laughs> We're going to get you out of bed every single day to run around and do stuff all day long, so... That's usually like a warning to us to say, get ready. <laughs> Worried about having days off. Just just a warning, you're at work till June 2018. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. That is exactly how it works. <laughs> um, a lady called Zoya's been on. She says, tell Liam I said hi, I'm 1D's biggest fan. I'll see you at the Teen Awards. See you there. And I said thank you very much. That's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. We did that last year. Yes. Yes, it was very fun. That was a good gig. It was really good, wasn't it? And then you're going to come back this year. I guess last year, when you, when you did that, was that one of your first live performances? It was. No, it genuinely was. We hadn't really performed out much, and that was that was 
literally our first one. It was a lot of fun, so we always had fun with radio on there. That's true. Correct thing to say, Liam. And we had that thing of them getting you, picking you up on that big sofa thing. I remember. Oh, yeah. That was a stronger entrance because we, we, we entered the Teen Awards, if you didn't see this last year, uh, me on a chaise lounge, uh, surrounded by One Direction fanning me, uh, lifted up from underneath the stage to reveal all. It was, it was quite the entrance. I think we're going to have to be our job to better that this year. Yeah, although we were meant to carry you on on that chair, and I'm not sure whether they thought you had weight issues or something. <laughs> they're not very strong lads. There, yeah. there was, you know, there was a complication, so we had to change it. Yeah, I think it was the combination of my weight issues and your brittle teenage bones. <laughs> Could have ended in disaster. No days off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we need to think of a good one. Maybe we could zip wire in today. Yes, a big zip wire. Because you're so famous now and so successful, I reckon whatever you say, they will do. You reckon? Okay, we can call the shots now, that's what you're saying. Or I remember toaster. that one. And we're live on radio too, so that's good for us. Well, th good, if you want anything to happen, that's what I've learned at Radio 1. You say it on air. Okay, we want to come in on jetpacks. Zip wires would be amazing. Over the toaster, you know, and you can go underneath and poof, get yeah, thrown up. That's all we're taking. If you are listening, planners of the Radio 1 Teen Awards, One Direction are saying they're going to cancel unless they and I get to zip wire in. Good call. Good call. Uh, we're going to play your record now, Live While We're Young. It's my big thing. I'm playing it every single day this week. Well, thank you very much. In the vain hope that by the end of the week, some people might like it. And it yeah, could do quite well. Well, thank you very much. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Like, I don't even need to do this phone right now. Um, <laughs> we want to know what people think of this record. Yesterday, um, people said it blew our minds. Go onto our Radio on Facebook page for the new breakfast show. Uh, it is R1 Breakfast. We are conducting a poll online. There are a few options. You can have it blows my mind. It's a grower. Meh, it's a stinker. Or I wouldn't touch it with yours. Please give us your reactions to this. My big thing from One Direction. Live while we're young, playing this every single day. Liam, wait there, we'll talk to you after this. Okay, mate. Radio 1, that is my big thing, playing it every single morning this week. Live while we're young. Uh, there you go, Liam, sounding pretty good on the radio, I think. Thank you very much. I really wish that you could see Harry right now, because it's the funniest thing ever. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's just getting his, his makeup done and stuff, and he's just had to, like... So I can't really tell you too much, I really want to. It's not very nice. He sent me a picture yesterday, but we can't yeah. reveal what this is. Do you know what happened in the bathroom? I know what happened in the bathroom. Yes. But it's completely different today, like, different to what you would expect. It's okay. going to be so funny. That picture is uh, quite disturbing. I'd just like to highlight that it is not drag. It's <laughs> not drag. One Direction are not a drag act. <laughs> what the, I, I've no idea. From what you're describing right now and the picture that Harry sent, I, I feel like, I, are you having a breakdown? Are you okay? Um... I think we're okay. I might have a breakdown later on, but at the moment, though, we're all good. I'll get him to send you another picture today, because it's completely different to what he sent you yesterday, because okay. we're doing, like, three different screens for our tour and stuff, uh -huh. so that's I, what we're on at the moment. Yeah, please send me a pitch now. I won't say what it is on the radio. Okay, but I just want you to highlight just yes. how good it actually is. Okay, okay. yes, please send it to me. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Uh, well, Liam, thank it. you for talking to us, and we will see you next Sunday at the Teen Awards. See you next Sunday, mate, and I promise from now on, I will swear to be an Abbey's listener. Yeah, you better add. Otherwise, me and you are going to fall out. That's true. Well, I'm going to call you tomorrow morning to make sure you're listening about uh, 6.30. Oh, that sounds good to me. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I quite like the early wake up. Yeah. You love that. All right, cheers, mate. All right, thank you, Liam. Thank you, mate. Have a nice day. Oh, you too, man. Bye. Bye. Bye.